How's everyone doing? I'm Tobin. I'm back at a spot on the McKinsey River that's quickly become one of my favorite spots. I've done three shaves here. In the B-roll, after the shave, um, I'll share some of that stuff with you guys about the location of where I am exactly and what I used here before, if you don't recognize it. My spot is right out there, and I'll have that at the end of the video. You can check that out, how I have it all set up. But what I want to share with you guys today is a fragrance I've been using for almost two weeks because of overtime at work and other thing that's been stuff that's been going on and the weather. I got delayed. I'm bringing this review to you. I do apologize for that, especially to Douglas, but good things come to those who wait. This is only available until February 28th. Come March 1st, it will be gone. And it is Denade Foil 50. We'll talk about that a little bit more when we get going. This is an homage, not a clone, an homage of Tom Ford's ombre leather. Welcome back to the McKenzie River. As I mentioned, I have shaved from this location before, but not this exact spot. More details on that are in the B-roll after the shave. I can't tell you how excited I was when I was first talking with Doug a few weeks back and he told me that this is what he was going for with the next doppelganger scent, even though it's not officially doppelganger. And it's more of an homage than it is a clone. If you saw my unboxing video or any of my content on Instagram, you know that this is a fragrance that I definitely consider that if I had to have a signature scent, it would be Tom Ford's Ombre Leather. And I shared with you uh, another version of that that I had or have. Today I'm using the newest brush from Phoenix Artisan, the Astraeus. This has quickly become one of my favorite synthetic brushes. Uh, I, of course, love the Roswell gray fibers and the Peregrino and the Starcraft will always be among my favorites, especially the Atomic Rocket and others. I love the, the Trollfogger and the uh, Sovereign fibers from Simpson. I'm whipping it up in my obsidian bowl from Captain's Choice. Today I'm using the new, the color is new, the razor is, is not. It's the new burnt orange aluminum version of the Ascension razor. I have the stainless steel and I have the Ascension Select and, and so now I have the aluminum. I can't decide what my absolute favorite modern razor is, but the Ascension would definitely be in my top three. Um, it's just, it's an amazing shaver. Um, it can be as mild as a, as a tech or it can be as a, aggressive as you want. One of my absolute favorite fragrances besides ombre leather is actually another one from the house of Tom Ford and that's uh, the effing fabulous and I'm wearing my t-shirt of Doug's version of that which is currently discontinued. I hope to see it come back one day. I'm actually stocked up on it. I have more than enough to last several years because I bought multiples of everything. But it'd still be nice for it to come back because I love it. And uh, those who haven't tried it, I think, might enjoy it as well. Which even added more to how excited I was when I found out that Doug was bringing ombre leather back. And like I said, this is a inspired by or an homage. It is not an exact clone. One of the one like the only real negative that I've heard from people and read online complaints about ombre leather is that it's strong and when you first spray it on it packs a lot of punch it really does I enjoy it but that's you know it's something that some people have said CK6 is so creamy beautiful delicious Doug's version doesn't have that. A John Frum hat about that. Well, about this time last year, and I absolutely love it. I have paid for everything in this video except for the soap and the aftershave splash. Other than that, everything in this video I have purchased. 
I am not an affiliate and I will not profit from you buying the Nade Foil 50. The name is based off, based off of Greek mythology. I have a mirror right behind you, to my right, your left. You'll see that in the B-roll as well. And it's kind of a love story. I like it. I'm, I'm a father of three. Only one of them is a daughter, and she's 14. There's two different fathers. There was Danaeus and Egyptus. And Danaeus, I think, had 50 daughters. I can't imagine that. I will have in the description a link to a very short story um, of the Danaids. And then also, I'll also include a link that has like a four or five minute video that you can watch if you don't want to read it. So I'll put reading material, but then also the same story will be available with, you know, pictures, like a picture book and a narrator. It's my kind of book. Well, I'm thinking about it too. Don't forget, uh, today is Saturday the 18th. Next weekend is the meetup in Phoenix, Arizona. I believe that's being hosted by Razor Emporium. Got my rinse bowl on the log. You'll see that in the B-roll as well. And uh, Wet Shave Products, WSP will be there. Let me get a little closer to you guys. Do you mind if I come into your bubble? Hey, Wet Shave Products will be there. Bricktown Grooming will be there. Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements will be there. Can't think off the top of my head who else will be there, but if you live anywhere near there, go there. I wish I could go there. I won't be going there. Just too far to travel. I've got to work. Yakety schmackety. My wife actually works next Saturday, so I wish. Go there with me and take me with you in proxy. Tomorrow, or, or Monday, today's Saturday, I want to do my review of the Bazaar from Bricktown Grooming. Phil was kind enough to send me that. And something real quick, too, a disclaimer. For those who know that I consider Doug of Phoenix Shaving a friend of mine, and that Phil Decker behind Bricktown Grooming is a friend of mine. I don't make out anything off of these videos, but at the same time, when I'm reviewing their products, PAA and Bricktown, I don't do Doug or Phil or any artisan any justice by misleading you, and I'll never do you any justice by misleading you. So with that being said, yep, I got a dog in the fight, but the biggest dog in the fight is, I think, not being truthful hurts the people that I'm trying to help. One, that's the artisan, and two, that's the community. Scent profile in Denaid Foil 50. It's called that because they foiled the plans of their uncle. We have make sure I don't drop anything in the river because I am standing over water. We have violet leaf, cedar, cardamom, jasmine sambic which is different than Jasmine Grandiflorium. It's 14 different types of Jasmine. Orris Root, Raspberry, Leather, Tobacco, Amber, I, I got that wrong. Orris, Raspberry, I'll put it right up there. Leather, Woody Notes, Amber, and Tobacco. And let me get a squirt of water in here. So, violet leaf is different than the flower. It's very much a leaf. I'll put a photo right there. I mean, we're, we're actually talking leaf. Unlike the flower, this is going to be very green. Earthy. Some people even like say like a cucumber type fragrance. I've never tried the essential oil, so I don't know. I'm just going off of, you know, what I've learned about it. That lather, it's gorgeous. And while, you know, ombre leather, I've said this in the unboxing too, while leather is in the name of ombre leather, this really isn't a leather scent. And I like what Doug has done because he has super duper, super duper duper balanced this out big time. 
cedar is a dry, woody note that adds structure to a fragrance. And a lot of times you'll find it in the base or in the heart. And he's got this up front. This, while leather is one of the notes that you will pick up, this is not a leather fragrance. Ombre leather and the other clone that I still eventually want to do a review of because I absolutely love it and I'm actually wearing it on the back of my left hand. That's Oro Valley from Sterling. Sterling did an identical clone and they nailed it. Um, I'll come back to that. I'll, I'll do my contrast comparison at, at the end with that one. But Doug, what he's done is he's just created this all around balanced woody floral spicy leather fragrance and so we have leather down there in the bottom but like as i'll talk about here in a second we also have another note that can create a fragrance smell so after the cedar which a lot of us are familiar with cedar is amazing fragrance shaving out here is nothing at all like shaving in the woods um or Shaving out here is nothing all like shaving at home. Cardamom, I know a lot of us are familiar with that. Cardamom is aromatic, sweet and spicy. Jasmine Sambic, so there's 14 different types of jasmine. Most commonly used in fragrances is gra Jasmine Grandiflorium. And that goes by a few different names like Spanish, the Spanish Jasmine. Jasmine Sambic is green and fruity, floral, and I read that during the dry down, it can even be sweet as to where actual jasmine is musky and has other notes at play. So Jasmine, jasmine Sambic is different than Jasmine Grandiflorium. Oris, O-R-R-I-S, and what is generally used is the root, and that's smooth. I read like skin-like, because I know there isn't, there, I've only purchased like 20 or 25 different essential oils, and of course there's hundreds, and I need to start doing a better job of when I get home, when I think about it, writing down ones that I want to buy skin-like whatever that means I'm not sure but I read that in a couple of places but then what I've always known about Oris is that it can be used to produce like a suede aroma like the leather raspberry tangy sweet lush um, I do pick up notes of raspberry in it. It comes across as like this. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It'll come to me. Leather, earthy, slightly sweet, and masculine. There's no better way that I can think of to describe leather. I love the smell of leather. Um, Old Fart Mike sent me those that brush roll that I actually have with me. I didn't put it in the photos today because I was afraid of it dropping in the river. And then the razor cover. And he also sent me something else too, but I can never get enough of leather. And to this day, when I open up my drawer that I keep them in, you can just smell it and it smells so damn good. Look at that. CK6, old oh, buddy. And then the wood notes, I have no idea what the actual woody notes are, but I believe what it's doing in the dry down is balancing it out. And I'll get into that a little bit more in a second. Amber, for those who don't know, um, when you see the word amber, amber is not like a note. Amber is a descriptor for a combination of ingredients that creates a warm, lightly sweet, slightly musky, and rich fragrance and most commonly used 
but it doesn't have to be. They can use any ingredients that they want. The main goal is creating what I just described, warm, lightly sweet, slightly musky, and rich. Vanilla, patchouli, labdamum, styrex, benzoin, and a whole list of others. Amber. I love amber. Um, and then tobacco. And tobacco is earthy, woody, and herbaceous. So what does this all amount to? The top starts starts out fresh and extremely well balanced. Ombre leather and Oro Valley, which is an exact clone of, start out strong and there's really no real balance. You're just getting a couple of strong leather notes and some other things going on. This is fresh and balanced. Raspberry, the word I was looking for and this, this might sound metaphorical or kind of cheesy. Um, warmth and color. It really, really does. Not like color to the soap, but color to the fragrance. Jasmine Sandbick is also known. I'm getting a little dry here. Jasmine Sandbick is also known as Arabian Jasmine. That creaminess. It could be a little wetter. That's all right. You make you, you do with you make do with what you got when you're out here. This jasmine that I pick up in this fragrance is bold, green, and fresh and fruity. And I'm not sure where exactly this next note is coming from. There's no smoke notes in it, but it's almost like Somewhere in the middle, I'm picking up like this smokiness. Maybe it's just an earthiness would be a better descriptor. And it's like wrapping around the amber and the cardamom. The whole thing from top to bottom is extremely well balanced. In some cases, like I, if you saw my mail call that I did yesterday, I picked up the EDP and the solid and I started playing with it all immediately. And I had the wife and my daughter experience it with me too and I'm proud to say that I am raising a frag head my daughter now has like 14 different fragrances um, her favorite fragrance house if you will even though I don't know if that's the right word for it would be Ariana Grande and she does have some really great fragrances they, they all smell good um, and I believe I've tried all of them now except for one my wife daughter has all of them I think except for two the leather isn't the only star of this show though guys um, I spray some water on my soap here and do my cleanups Fruits and florals and the amber all share the stage with leather. If you've questioned leather fragrances in the past, I'm not kidding when I say this. Denaid Foil 50 is the leather fragrance to start out with. It really, really is because it is so well balanced. My foot was getting sore standing there with the way I was standing. Come with me just a little bit, fellas. Give my foot a rest. Whoop. Didn't mean to do that. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. This is even to be described as soft and creamy leather. If that makes any sense at all. Talking with my wife, I love it because like I talked about in that previous video too. Ombre leather is a family favorite. Everybody loves it. Wife, daughter, mother, co-workers, right? And I wear ombre leather or Oro Valley two or three times a week and now Denade Foil 50 will probably take center stage on that. But I asked my wife for her to describe the differences that she picked out between ombre leather and Denade Foil 50. And I absolutely loved what she said. Ombre leather is more industrial, more metallic, and more leathery. Denade is more fruity and floral. And I couldn't agree more with what she said, and I liked 
the descriptors that she used. Our teenage daughter, who's the apple of her daddy's eye, she said, <laughs> and so she said more like Jerry's, and what Jerry's is is a home improvement store, so think Lowe's or Home Depot. And she says that about Boomtown Bay Rum and other fragrances. I've never quite understood it. So, but her saying that ombre leather is more like Jerry's plays right in with what my wife's analysis was of it being more industrial. She said that Denade when compared to ombre leather was sweeter and more floral. Doug has done this time and time again and Doug and Fran have done this time and time again where they've taken something, altered it slightly while keeping it true to the original and, and giving us something truly fantastic. Something that will always stand out for me from the house of Phoenix, from the house of the rising sun or the rising bird. Awesome sauce, pro razzo green. An absolute wet shaving classic and one of my first and all time favorite shaving fragrances. Awesome Sauce still smells like Perrazzo Green, but it smells so much better, like premiums, like going to McDonald's and getting a cheeseburger versus going to some, you know, four or five star restaurant and uh, getting a burger there. He nailed this, you guys. He really, really did. Ombre Leather first came out in 2016. In 2018, they came out with a different version of it. And I'll maybe get into that one day if I ever do a actual review of Ombre Leather. I've thought about it. I've never really gone down the fragrance video rabbit hole yet, though. I don't intend to. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Damn fine shave I had in that a first use Platinum Strangelet from Phoenix. This is an all Phoenix shave here other than the bowl I used today. Um, and so when they came out with the 2018, it was actually, I never tried the 2016. I, my first bottle was 2019. But what I've read is that they made it more balanced and tamed down some of the leather notes and other things. If you try Tuscan leather from Ombre Leather, my understanding is the 2016 version of Ombre Leather is more like Tuscan leather today. Let me give this a second to dry in or soak up or burn off, whatever. Three words for me to describe four words. Five words. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fruity. Gotta keep count. Fruity. <laughs> Floral. Tangy. Woody. And primal. This is a masculine fragrance. And I'm telling you, like, if you have experienced ombre leather, this is better. Unless, unless like, for you, you really enjoy that big blast up front and I do I enjoy it like I said if I had to have one signature fragrance it would be ombre leather okay so never think that I'm putting it down because that sure as hell ain't from start to finish this is more well balanced than I could have ever imagined and I mean this when I say it when Doug first told me that he was doing this I was extremely excited and I don't know why and I didn't ask but I ex expected like an identi identical clone with F-bombs, which is his version of F and Fabulous from Tom Ford. Some people saw, say it smells exactly the same. I disagree with that. Uh, not the version of Fabulous that I have anyways, which is 
one of the newer versions and I believe it is still the newest and the most current version I could be wrong but f-bombs from him while very similar there are differences and I do prefer f-bombs over fabulous and I don't have just the fabulous I have the actual fucking fabulous that has the f-word on the bottle itself but there there are differences and I believe that it is an overall better fragrance and truly he's done the same thing with Oro Valley and that's why I stocked up big time on F and Fabulous and the only thing that's going to prevent me from stocking up more than I want to with Denade is the timeline we only have until February 28th and then it's gone I really really hope it sells well because I would love for it to come back because I'm also afraid that I won't have a chance to grab it and I truly mean this when I say it and because I think more people need to have an opportunity to try this fragrance don't let that word leather turn you off with Denade yep leathers in there but leather is not the star of the show it shares the stage with florals, fruit, wood, and it just creates this primal, masculine, yet soft, and I think, you know, like the orris root is helping to do that, the amber is helping to do that. It's just extremely well balanced, and it's a little, if I could say one negative thing about Denade, I wish that it were, there was slightly more projection to it. But other than that, by that I mean that you just smell it from a little further away that it was a little stronger. Um, but in that, though, is where I think it also at the same time gets its real strength. Because ombre leather is a very aggressive, boom, fragrance. Um, so, I don't know. Kind of contradicted my own negative, right? I love it. I can't recommend it enough. Um, I do believe this is the only time that he's offered Star Jelly in a menthol free version only, which is awesome. Uh, most of the time I reach for menthol free. I believe menthol has a time and a place. Like when I bought my Shave Chaser Star Jelly, I bought it with menthol. And I really don't think menthol belongs in this. And so I think that was a great call. But I'm just pointing out that I believe this is the first time that Doug and Fran have only offered a menthol free. I could be wrong, I might have missed it on the website, but I don't think I saw it. Something I wanted to add to you real quick before I wrap this up. If you saw my mail call, I learned while talking to Doug this morning that the deodorant um, is actually reformulated and is a little softer. And yesterday when I applied it during the video, I didn't notice it. But after talking with him this morning and then applying it before I left the house, it is softer. Um, I don't think it needed to be softer. I know some people, like I talked about in my deodorant video, complain about natural deodorants, deodorants pulling hair and stuff. I've never had that issue. Um, I guess that's a no. another one that your mileage may vary. I don't know if I have strong hair follicles or I'm just too stupid to notice, but I never noticed. I want to thank you for joining me out here in my review of Denade Foil 50. Dude, guys, gals, I can't recommend it enough. It, it's, it's, it, I want to say it's my absolute favorite. And it probably is. Um, I think this is going to be my absolute favorite signature fragrance moving forward. And the only thing that will keep it from being that is that it's not around often enough or long enough for me to buy enough to you know, keep that going. Only about one EDP, one solid, yakety schmackety. I need four or five. When F-bombs went away, I bought two, two or three of everything, with the exceptions being the deodorants, the bath bar, and the shampoo puck. I bought like five of those um, each. And I'm on my last deodorant. You hear that, Doug? Are you, are you still watching? Did you watch? Y'all take care. Thank you so much. It's a little big things. It's only shaving. Um, at the end of this video, do you want to to say I love you. I love you a long time. I'm going to do another video tomorrow. And uh, Monday's my day off too. I'm going to try and pump out another video. i got a bunch of videos I want to do. Before I go back to work on Tuesday. Y'all take care of yourself. Thanks again. February 28th. It's gone. Next weekend. The weekend of the 25th. 24th. 
Phoenix Meetup. Y'all take care, and uh, thank you. I, I appreciate you. All right. Welcome to the B-roll. I was saying I've shaved here twice before. Most recently was with champagne that was sent to me for review from Doug and Fran at PAA. And I did that shave from right underneath this tree and the camera was pointed out that way. The shave that I did before that was with Sterling's Piacenza and Heritage Hills yet to be released Continental Shave Soap. And I had that rock as my backdrop and I was shaving from the tree. Today, this is the first time in a long time that I won't be using my stool for a table. I'm using the rocks and what looks like a freshly fallen tree, just going by the, the lightness of the wood here. I love this river. My Nightmare Before Christmas backpack that my wonderful women got me, my daughter and my wife, my towel. My stainless steel bowl there is my rinse bowl, my captain's choice for whipping up the lather. Estreus uh, brush and my burnt orange ascension. The star jelly and the splash. I still have in my hand the soap. A mirror there and my doohickey there thanks again for uh for joining me out here today such a beautiful place i am fortunate and i count my blessings one by one this is a great big 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 little big thing i never want to take it for granted how's this for a snag i could be mistaken but I do believe the tree that I'm standing on is still alive. The only real way to find out is to come back in the spring, but it certainly feels alive. Looks like it fell from right over there and it has caused quite the snare. <laughs> 